Blog Talk Radio. Hello everyone, welcome to Hollywood Hits. Today is a very special episode. We actually have Greg from the real world Hollywood on the air. Greg, how are you? Pretty good, Amelia. How are you doing, sir? Good. Um, well, welcome to Hollywood Hits. Um, first off, I'd like to ask you, why, what convinced you to go on the real world? Um, basically, it's a very unique experience. Um, I've always wanted to do it. Um, it's just been like, kind of like a dream. Cause, I mean, I always watch it on TV. And, I mean, it looks like a fun experience, so I've always just wanted to see how it was, you know, firsthand. Now, you did the online um, way to get on it. Now, did you ever think in a million years that you would get on the show? Um, honestly, to be real with you, um, after, like, the first few, like, rounds where I got lots of votes, I definitely had, like, a lot of confidence in terms of getting on the show because um, a lot of people were taking the inclination of my personality. So I definitely had, like, lots of confidence and felt that it wouldn't be too, you know, much of a far stretch to actually make the show. Now, how how did you get so many people to vote for you? Um, basically, I think it's just my personality. Um, I definitely appeal to a lot of people. Um, you know, I'm a very lively person, uh, very wild, and so I definitely think a lot of people probably like that. Um, tried to appeal to the females, you know, with some dancing videos, <laughs> some little strip teases, and um, I definitely I try to appeal to like you know guys with some other uh, more like action. Uh, video clips, so I just try to appeal to, like, you know, all genres of people, so it, it worked all out right. pretty well. Um, now, when did the show actually start filming? Um, about August, um, August 22nd around there. Okay, and how long were you actually in the house for? Uh, eight weeks, about eight weeks okay. exactly, about exactly half the time. All right, um... Now, when you got there, was it weird having cameras there all the time? The first day it was, because it just seemed like really, you know, surreal. Um, But probably after the first week, I mean, it really just kind of got routine to be followed everywhere with a camera. So it didn't take too long to get acclimated. All right. Um, Now, the way the show was edited, a lot of the time it it made you seem like the villain. Do you feel like it was like that and you were truly yourself, or do you feel they edited you in a bad light? Um, I feel like they don't really detail why I do the things I do. Um, I feel like it's more just like, okay, you know, Greg's acting crazy for no reason. Um, you know, for example, there was an episode where I had taken Sarah's, uh, undergarments and I hid them or whatever. And a lot of people were like, you know, why did you do that? So immature. And even though while I may, you know, I do agree that it was immature, you know, there was a reason behind it. And it's because that, you know, she had taken... Uh, her and Kimberly actually had taken uh, some of my chicken that I, I was, um, you know, cooking, and they take they took, like, bites out of it. And it's just kind of funny because it's like they don't detail why I'm actually, you know, right. doing that. So they just show me taking her panties. So it's just kind of like, you know, the editing was kind of skewed. But overall, I mean, they did portray me properly. I mean, I was very blunt. You know, I'm not normally, like, a very, you know, super friendly person. Like, you know, I'm trying to meet everybody and, you know, just have like a, I mean, I like to meet new people, but sometimes people always tend to say, you know, this is my friend, and I'm not like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you have to get to know people before you can truly, you know, call them your friends, and a lot of people don't care, they just, you know, hey, this is my friend, and, and I don't use the term that loosely, so. All right, that's well, kind of for everyone that's, editing. Go ahead, I'm sorry. All right, well, for everyone that's listening, um, why don't you tell them about the job you had on the show? Uh, basically, our job was not really a job which is what they told us. It's more like improv classes. Um, improv is kind of like comedy classes, so um, that's basically what we're supposed to be doing, uh, taking them with Sharna Helpern, who has led um, you know, stars such as uh, Andy Dick and uh, Chris Farley. She's like led them to, I guess, be at, as good at their art as, as they were. So that's basically the, the type of job we had. Did you enjoy the job? Uh, honestly, I did enjoy going. I just felt like on the many occasions it conflicted with what I thought we were supposed to be out there for, which they told us right. was pursuing your entertainment careers because, ironically, everyone on the show had entertainment careers. That was the objective of being out there, supposedly, quote-unquote. So, um, you know, I just felt like it was fun, but I didn't feel like it was really 
progressing my modeling career. I mean, I really don't. I didn't get. I didn't get that memo on how it, you know, helps me out. Now, did you make a lot of like connections or make do a lot of networking as to modeling wise? I definitely did. Um, I met a lot of people um, who I'm still working with doing uh, fashion shows. Um, okay. Brian Cole is basically the founder of O'Quinn, it's like a new clothing brand, and he continuously asks me to do fashion shows and things of that nature. So, I mean, again, I met a lot of cool people who actually are still there. Um, and, you you know, I wonder how many people are still doing improv from the show. Like, probably zero. So, you know, it just goes to show, like, it was a joke to me, and it was a joke. So I just didn't get the importance that they placed on it and why they placed so much importance on it and then decided to fire me after, again, saying that, hey, you know, you're out here to pursue your entertainment career. So it just right. seemed like a setup. So um, I was very unfortunate. All right. Uh, now... Now that the show is over, do you get recognized on the street a lot? Um, I definitely get recognized on many, many, many occasions. Uh, I, it's kind of fun, actually, because um, it's just, like, weird, because a lot of people, like, they think that the way they portray me on the show, you know, like, they made me look kind of just asshole -ish, you know? And so right. it's kind of funny, because they're like, you know, how are you going to talk to us? You know, we didn't want to come up and bother you. And it's just, <laughs> it's really funny, because people are, are so funny. But um, I definitely, you know, aren't as negative as they make me seem on the show. So, yeah, it's definitely much more friendly than uh, the personality they portray me as. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm in the chat room right now, and I'm asking people if they have any questions. And one person wants to know, have you changed at all from the experience? Have I changed? Uh, no. I am the same person I was then. I am the same person now. All right. Um, now, uh, another question is, how, what do you think of the way you acted? Like, were there ever any times where you were watching the show and you're like, wow, that was really dumb of me, or no? Um, hmm. Basically, the only time I had a regret while watching the show is when I was trying to befriend Will over and over again. You know, he was mm -hmm. such a foolish, foolish person to me. Um, but yeah, that's probably the only time I actually like, watched the show and was like, well, I shouldn't have did that. That makes me look really bad. Because, I mean, I mean, I gave the kid lots of chances to try to, you know, be cool with him. And he's like, he just wasn't having it, so. Right. Um, that All right. That. Um, now, do you still talk to any of the any of your roommates from the show? Uh, I still do communicate with Joey. Uh, me and him did get along. So, uh, okay. yeah, I definitely communicate with him on occasion. He's doing pretty good. All right, that's cool. Um, now, you um, left the show, and so two more roommates came in. Have you been watching the show since they've no, come on sir, the show? No, I have not seen one episode since I have made it my exit. All right. Um, now, another question we have is, why did you insist on lying when, like, they would confront you about the pranks or stuff like that? Why would you say, no, I didn't do that, I didn't do that, when you know you did? All right, uh, basically this goes back to the editing that you don't see on the show. For example, right. like I said, when that Sarah girl ate my chicken and, you know, they didn't, you know, I asked them. And again, if you go to realworlddailies.com, you can see these videos. So it's not like I'm just, like, making up stuff. Um, if you do go to Real World Dailies, they show you unedited footage of things that happened in the show. And basically, um, you know, you can go on there and actually watch the video where it says chicken thieves, and they actually show them eating my chicken. And, you know, again, when I played a prank, it was just disrespectful and, you know, girl, you don't have any type of morals and all this other trash. But when you watch the chicken thieves video, when they steal my chicken, they're laughing and playing. And I'm asking them, like, who took my chicken? Again, it's funny. No one wants to, to fess up. But when they do it, it's all fun and games. That's why my biggest thing on the show is that everyone was a bunch of, of hypocrites. So... Um, but the reason I didn't admit to it was because, like, I didn't want to admit to it. I mean, they didn't admit to right. nothing they did, so why should I be like, oh, you know, I took them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it just goes both both ways. What goes around comes around. And it's funny because a lot of people on the dailies were like, you know, Sarah, karma's a bee. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when you take other people's stuff. Like, also, if you remember on the show, if you watched it, um, she, uh, Sarah, like, took Bree's stuff off the, um, the mantle, if you remember, in the kitchen. I mean, in the, uh, the uh, what is it, like the makeup area or whatever, and she uh -huh. hit it. And 